All right, last minute man here with uh, my good buddy, Mr. Obvious. And today, what are we doing, Mr. Obvious? Oh man, we're gonna go uh, over the Indiana side of the river to Friendship and see what we can get into. Road trip. Road trip. Yeah. <laughs> not, not road kill, but road, road trip. trip. Road and, trip. And uh, we're we're going to this yeah. uh, black powder shoot up here, and uh, we're gonna see what we like, Mr. Obvious, say yeah. can get into. And uh, we'll bring you some more, and uh, just stay tuned. All right, last minute, man. Looking at the range here, black powder course. That's a nice long shot for a muzzleloader. Don't know if I could pull that off. All right, last minute man here, and I'm with uh, Mr. Obvious, and we are at a gum booth with, what is your name, sir? MJ Longstreth. MJ. All right, MJ, tell us a little bit about the rifles you make here. Well, these are mostly, tra these are, uh, lower one is a rifle, the top two are trap guns. Okay. Shotguns. And uh, this is a flintlock, this is a percussion, and the percussion is a ladies or youth model. It's an inch shorter in the length of pull than the others. Okay. But all of them have adjustable butt plates and combs so that you can raise it and extend it. But just, uh, let's face it, most guys are bigger than the ladies or the kids. Yeah, so, you yeah. Know, it's, <laughs> yes, sir. We want, we want to be able to fit the proper size gun. The worst thing in the world you can have is get somebody that's too small, a long gun, it's right. going to beat them to death. Right, yes, Let's sir. Let's get it the right size for them and let them shoot, and that'll make them lifetime shooters instead of going, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are awful nice. And where do you get the uh, wood and everything? Do you just make these from blanks? Well, or? I make them from blanks. Oh, wow. And, yeah. Uh, you know, pick up a lot. Most of the barrels are old single barrel shotguns that are just in great shape. You know, yeah. the guns themselves have been stored behind the barn or behind the door. And, Right. You know, or whatever for years and haven't been shot much and but just have gotten old and rusty right and i i will refurbish them and then do them up as a modern muzzle loader well uh, you can tell you can get caught up in this stuff real quick once yeah. you start <laughs> it's an addiction so i mean these are just beautiful i love the woodwork on this is this uh yes. curly maple on this this or? is curly maple yes and that uh, is just pretty that actually is a, a very fine piece of wood that had a flaw in it and there was a big knot in the wood out here okay you could not use you couldn't even put a you couldn't put a 36 inch barrel on i said okay i'll make my barrel 35 inches and have this beautiful piece of wood right for rock bottom price wow you know just for for doing it that way well that's smart and it is a beautiful beautiful <laughs> rifle and how can people find you sir uh we are located on, the best way is on Facebook. Just look up North Country Smoke Poles. Oh, right. And I'll show your card here. Okay. And uh, you got some, uh, I like your gun racks over here and well, stuff too. You. And uh, they got some neat stuff, so check them out. And uh, this has been Last Minute, man. And uh, we'll continue our little broadcast here. Getting an idea of the offhand shoot. The folks are competing here, so. That's just too cool. <laughs> but I didn't know what lock it took. All right, last minute man here, and I'm with L and R Lock Company. And I've been told here that these are the best guys out. So we've got issues with our uh, Hawkins that we just purchased. We just got into this black powder thing. We're not knowledgeable, really. And uh, we're having issues with getting spark. So we were told you'd be the guy. We can try and help. Um, on the, if you got traditions like that, we do have replacement locks. Um, they should put a whole new lock on. Um, their flint locks are what lacks on their guns. Um, and it's mainly a lot of times either lack of power may springs or just not tempered right on prison spring or prisons, um, stuff like that. And that's why we made these replacement locks. Um, okay. uh, we supply, we cover most of theirs. Um, they got a couple models we don't <laughs> carry, but most of them. And the difference is we got 
we got hot copper prisms that are tempered all the way through. We've got rollers on the prisms, speeding them up a little bit. Um, internally, we got we got nice heavy forged mainsprings. Yeah. And uh, our, all our parts have have kind of bearing surfaces on them, so you've got minimal metal to metal friction. There's a uh, you know, the tumblers don't sit against the plate and against the bridle and all that extra friction. Um, um, like I say, and, and we and we stand behind a lot. So, um, you know, if you have something wrong, you always come back to us. Well, I can definitely um, tell the the steel on these just looks a lot a lot better. Yeah, yeah superior and, to what we have and, for and sure. And that's what you got to do on a flint lock, particularly. You can't skimp on your on the frizzings, mainsprings, all that stuff. Right, it's got to be right. On percussion locks, you can get away with a little weaker mainspring when you're breaking the cap. As long as it does that, the gun goes off or percussion. A right. flint lock's got a weak mainspring and it's not enough power to, to, to really peel that steel off that frizzing. Right. Then, then you're then you're not going to get any spark. That's that's the key to it. Once you get a, a flint in there, you got to peel that steel off that frizzing. So that's where it comes in. Um, our custom line locks and our replacement lines are all made the same way. We use the same type of steel in all of them. Uh, a lot of yeah. them use similar parts, the same parts, um, interchangeable type stuff. And so all these, like, uh, so somebody could come with a tradition talk in, like we've got, ours is actually called the mountain rifle, but it's just a little longer barrel, it looks like. Okay. But I could probably just buy this and interchange it. Yeah, well, the only difference it takes is using some internal wood removal. The okay. Plate, the plate shape be right. Roger. But our internals, which are heavier internal, so you, gotcha. you like to make some room for oh, the yeah, I can see that. vital yeah. you know, um, area of that stuff. Once you get that done, it goes in, put your lock bolts back in, and you're ready to shoot. All right. Um, it'll line up with your triggers, it'll line up with the touch holes. You'll have all that stuff ready to go. Um, the the Traditions Mountain Rifle, I can't remember right now, I believe it's a small one. There's one lock I don't have up here that covers some of the Traditions. They got one called the Woodsman Hawking, I think. I'm yeah. Sure that one, that one. We do have a lock for that now. I just yeah. don't have it in production here yet. But we're making that one. That's going to be our Model 07, which is our seventh lock in the replacement line. Okay. Um, but that covers quite a few locks and traditions. They're new. A lot of the new guns have that style lock on flint and percussion. Gotcha. Um, so we're going to have that covered um, going forward. If that's what you got, we can get you one right now. It's just I'm finishing touches. I'm getting it full production. Right. Yeah. Um, and like I say, and then if you guys ever want to step up and go custom, whether you're getting somebody to build or build yourself, you know, the catalog's full of the rest of the line to choose from there. I, I'd definitely let somebody build it for me. Let, let the experts do what they do. <laughs> I know my limitations. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is how people get a hold of you? Yeah, that, that's the catalog. You get, we got a website there. Okay. Um, get us, uh, call us at home, either one. Um, I'll put a flint in this little lock here. I'll show you how. I'll tell you, everybody out here is very nice. You need to definitely make it out here, folks. To yeah, Friendship, if Indiana. If you're interested in it, come on out to Friendship. You see everybody. I just want to see The Hawk? Yeah. Hawk Percussion. 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 CVA Percussion. There you go. There's a, oh yeah, I didn't have it hit square there, but basically set a Myers up with the flint in there, kind of like that. Let me square it up a little bit. Yeah, it's like it'll come with the pattern. Hard to see in this bright light. But well, yeah, but you can definitely see it. Now, are these CNC machined, or how do you guys? Um, most of no, this is cast, and then uh, the, the parts, are 90 percent cast and then we hand machine them after that Roger. um hand grind them drill them the main springs we do forge out of flat stock okay um, they're not cast we take uh, spring steel and bend them heat them bend them everything else make make all our spring main springs that way now the frizzle right. springs are cast along with all the other parts we've only got about three parts that aren't cast the okay. main spring the sear spring and the fly um get a little better there yeah. But um, a lot more power in these than you have in your CBA conditions. Um, just cocking can tell that. Well, yeah. But that's where. Um, but we do, like I said, we got we got tradition CBA covered, Thompson Center, Lyman, uh, one of the Dixie Gunworks slots, the okay. Dixie Mountain Rifle, and then the Hatfield Rifle, which is also the. Um, um, Patterson Frontier Rifle. Okay. The same lock goes in both of those two. 
So we got, and, and, and of course, like I said, we got seven total locks that, that replace commercial locks. You know, All right. Things, you know, so we got those, um, like I said, and then if you want to build anything customized from, from a, an early foul over the queen end in it up to a hawking lock with the patent breach on it, we got breaches and locks that on those. Um, oh. All right. Uh, we, we can cover about anything you want to do. Uh, back action. Well, I'll tell you, it's uh, you guys have a lot of good information. It looks like you make a very good product. And uh, I'm going to have to bring my rifle up here this week. I'm going to be back up and yeah, yeah, see if you guys can hook me up. We'll match it with which one's right, lock, and short. All right. Well, thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. All right. All right, Mr. Obvious. Walk us through here. Oh, he'll walk right through here. <laughs> Look at some nice... Guns, stops. You guys got stops over here to your left. Oh yeah, I'll tell you, make your way out here to Friendship, folks. I'm telling you, it is a good time. It's fun. The people out here are very friendly. You got used guns, new guns, custom-made guns, all accessories you can want. Uh, you can literally have a blast out here, right? Yeah. Look at these, like a little 22 rifle type. All of that. Yeah. Sweet. All kinds of neat stuff. And, uh, yeah, we just became members today. I'm going to bring my little nephew up here and uh, get him competing. And, uh, you know, this is just a good time. So uh, we've had a lot of fun. Well, we may do another uh, conversation with you when we get back to the car. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> all right, well, we're going to walk around and have ourselves a good time. All right, folks. Well, we made it back out here to the, to the car. And uh, it, it's pretty fun in there, isn't it? Yeah. Got a lot of interesting stuff in there interesting people i mean every, everybody's uh ready to talk ready to teach you something if you want to learn you know uh, when i don't know something i've come to find it's uh, best to ask someone who does know so uh, i don't know a whole lot about uh muzzle loading black powder very limited in that capacity yeah. but, oh look at he got himself a scabbard today. nice scabbard today yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, this will look pretty look at that yeah that'll look really nice solid leather He's looking like Quigley down under over here, but uh, we even saw Hickok 45 today. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, didn't didn't want to bug him. You know, I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to go chase after somebody. And and uh, he obviously has things to do here. He, I'm sure he gets hounded all the time. I said, you so, look just like Hickok 45. No, I'm, I'm a he twin said I'm his twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, twin he's a good brother. fella. Good fella. But yeah, I, I don't like to hound people, and uh, I'm sure he gets that all the time. But. Uh, it, yeah, it's fun coming out here, folks, and uh, it, it's a good time. Definitely do it if you ever get a chance. Friendship Indiana. Uh, remember, keep your knives sharp, keep your powder dry. Subscribe to Last Minute, ma'am. <laughs>